Hey folks, welcome back. Um, I totally forgot to test the rate of fire in the last video, which is completely, um, you know, it's really important to have that uh, as part of the discussion of, um, you know, part of the benefits of using a real steel buffer, since there weren't a whole lot of benefits when using the real steel. So let's give it some fair um, coverage and include the rate of fire in this video. Um, and it helps shorten this, the first video too. All right, folks, so we're gonna try to see um Another thing is uh, see if uh, the real steel buffer spring and buffer um, is going to affect the cyclic rate. Uh, in the real guns, um, it does. The weight of the buffer um, can vary uh, depending on whether you're using the standard weights inside them or they have like tungsten filled weights, and those can affect the cyclic rate um, when you're firing full auto. So let's see if that affects here. So. Uh, I am now going to fire uh, a couple rounds of four round burst uh, and see uh, how that affects it. I think it's going to slow it down um, or maybe it might even expe uh, speed up the rate because um, the buffer is now, or sorry, the buffer spring is now really uh, intense and so it cycles or it sends the bolt forward much faster. So maybe you shoot even faster. So let's take a look. Uh, now this thing doesn't go above a thousand um, rounds per minute, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to detect this, but we'll see. All right, let's see here. This is a uh, first try. Okay, that's uh, 875. This is actually a little bit slower. All right, so this is going to be a second attempt uh, with, the, with the real steel. Let's hope we get a good reading. 750. All right, so uh, I just changed out the uh, buffer spring to back to the original uh, stock WE version. Uh, so let's see. Ooh, that resistance seems so much lighter now. <laughs> All right, let's see the rate of fire. I think this is one. I refilled the magazine. I think we're gonna shoot closer to like a thousand. So let's see what happens. All right, this is the WE stock magazine or stock spring. Ah, uh, dang it, we're not getting any readings. Hold on. All right, let's try that one more time. Uh, again, fresh magazine, load it up again. Uh, let's try that again. Again, this is still a stock. WE magazine or spring. Alright, let's hold this down so we can get a good reading. Alright, so obviously she's a lot faster. Let's try another uh, second round or a second burst to see how much faster she is. Alright, now we're back. So let's try it again. Still the stop uh, WE spring. Uh, hopefully, the second round will uh, register. Dang it. Alright, so there we go. Obviously it shoots a lot faster uh, than the other one. Uh, so, I'm not sure how accurate those readings are, but uh, I can just tell that uh, the real seal uh, shoots a lot slower. Hey folks, uh, so as you saw um, from our shooting test, um, it looks like the cyclic rate um, when you're using the stock WE uh, buffer spring and buffer, yeah, you're shooting around over a thousand um, uh, rounds per minute. So I don't know how accurate the numbers were. We saw the first burst was about 1,500, and the second burst was about 2,000. Um, so that seems kind of pretty fast. So again, I don't know how accurate that is, um, but it's definitely what I can tell you is that. Um, the lighter spring and the lighter buffer allows a faster um, uh, cyclic rate, which makes sense, I guess. Um, I kind of thought that maybe because the spring tension of the real steel was a lot uh, higher that you would get a return, the bolt carrier group would return a lot quicker and you'll get a higher rate of fire. Turns out that I guess that's not really the case. Um, you get a slower rate of fire um, in the real, with the uh, 
the heavier resistance of the real steel um, spring, which I have installed currently. So um, with a real steel, it actually shoots um, closer to the real cyclic rate of fire of um, M4s, which is around like 750 to 700, or sorry, 750 to about like 950. Uh, we clocked ours in initially at about like 850, and then the second burst about 750. So it's within that ballpark, and it's noticeably slower when you cycle it. Um, so that's another extra element of realism, I think, that we can add to our list of um, potentially using a real uh, buffer spring. Um, it's interesting because when you're um, when you you're using you're used to cycling the the charging handle with the real um, buffer spring in, it's a lot. Uh, there's a lot more resistance, so you put a lot more energy into pulling it back. And then when you switch it back to the um, the uh, the WE version, uh, the lighter, less resistant uh, spring and buffer, uh, you're cycling it like you're pulling it really back and you forget that, oh, it's you don't need that much force to pull it back. So just interesting to know how much difference uh, in terms of um, uh, force you have to use to charge the cycle or charge the bolt basically uh, between the two springs. Uh, but that was kind of cool. Hope you folks enjoy this. Um, this is kind of like a second part. Um, the first video was a little bit too long, so I didn't want to add this part to it. Um, but this, you know, the rate of fire is another thing that's really important to discuss. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this stuff or uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot, folks. See you all next time.